in Viking lands, far away in the Norse. There is a master who is willing to teach you the foundation of communication, storytelling, and happiness. He can help you master 110 skills to defeat death against any power, create angels only with your words, and he can make you take the first steps on the path of happiness that is just in front of you, but too scared to take. The legend says that the only way to become a student of this master is to cross the forest, the mountains, and even the seas of the Norse to finally take your last trial. To complete this quest, he will ask you one final question. What is universal? As a beginner in sharing my story, I want to become better at it and learn what he has to teach. I need to seek for this master. I will ride my beast for thousands of kilometers through any lands. I will overcome any obstacles in front of me to finally give him my answer. The only artifact I know on Earth and beyond to be universal is a towel. So what's up my riders? I'm so excited for this adventure and what's better than finishing all this journey by meeting someone that inspires you. It will lead me to do even better and bigger for next time. And you know what's coming next time. So if you think this is amazing, press the like button, subscribe because the channel needs it and it does help. So thank you. Who is this master of his craft that I'm always talking about? It's David J.P. Phillips. The man has been showering the internet with his knowledge, his craft and his tips. Since he had a huge shout out from PewDiePie, KSI, Jacksepticeye and all the YouTubers in I. <laughs> so what he did is react to their old videos compared to their newest video and bring forward what are the communication skills they use and what he says was so on point that I needed to learn more about the guy. And then I understand that he spent seven years studying 5,000 public speakers to analyze all their skills. He created his own method with a matrix of 110 skills that helps you communicate and do a better job at storytelling. And what's even more impressive, it's his life story. He spent 19 years in depression. From this experience in his life, He's now sharing so much tips and tools to break free, to break the pattern. Then you better understand his mission in, in this world, which is giving communication lesson to everyone and mostly kids, because to him, communication is the first thing that you should learn for a better world. In some way, I feel connected to this message. Through this communication, through this storytelling, you can get on adventure, so combining what I'm doing, which is a crazy adventure on my Super 73, whose mission is to bring you the tools to get on an adventure, to finally meet the guy who helps giving tools to communicate and helps to get better storytelling, is just mixing everything I enjoy. So the main goal of this video is to bring you story to this adventure, because it's not just taking my bike and doing 2000 kilometers. I don't know if you're gonna enjoy this video, it's a little bit more personal, but um, yeah, the idea is to share, it's to become better at communication, it's to give you the energy, maybe the willingness to also take your bike and go on adventure. Because the journey is going to be amazing, no matter how hard it is, how easy it is, it's gonna be beautiful. I did it once, that is why now I'm redoing it even bigger for two weeks. And also you know that I wanna to prepare to do this huge adventure crossing the USA from one ocean to the other. So let's get back to David. <laughs> Through his videos, he created something that is very interesting, or maybe it's more PewDiePie who created it. He is now the creator of the Towel Gang. As a Towel Gang member, and all the other Towel Gang members, no one has come to him and gave him the towel he deserves, the golden towel. 
because this is the main story of this trip. I'm going to do the 2000 kilometers from Paris to the JP Manor near Stockholm to bring him the golden towel. No joke, this is important. This has never been done and this needs to be happening. And also David told me that when I arrive, they will organize a party. And with what's happening in the world right now, I'll do anything to get to a party. <laughs> I really would like to know who inspires you? What would you ask them? What would you do with this person who inspires you? Please leave a comment and explain your story. For me, right now it's David. If you really want to share and give knowledge and tips and you can feel it. This is why I would love to meet the guy and listen to him, but mostly saying thank you, David. And bring him his towel, I mean, come on. So just one example of things he does. He has a river nearby the JP Manor where during winter it's completely frozen. He dig a hole, it's really cold then, but he takes a bath, a cold bath in it, just to train his willpower because his brain, like anyone, would say, don't get inside this hole, it's freaking frozen. But he's training his willpower against his rational lizard brain to make sure that when he wants something he has the power the energy to do it and he's giving you tips to do the same i did take some cold showers for two weeks get to the point that i can stay under this really cold water for two minutes my brain is get the freak out of this shower but no i can train my willpower it's not fully formed yet, but I can feel it's helping. Go check out his channel, go check out his Instagram, go check out his TikTok. You might learn something. And if you don't like it, just stop watching it. It's as simple as pressing the like button and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Until then, have a great ride. Poof.